Black women are less attractive than other races. Can you show me which one of these dolls is the mean doll? This one. Okay. Can you show me which one of these dolls is the bad doll? This one. Okay. Can you show me which one is the ugly doll? This one. That's the controversial claim made by a scientist at the London School of Economics Scientist. this week. Evolutionary psychologist Satoshi Kanazawa used questionable research to prove that in a study of physical attractiveness, black women are less... When it comes to black people, are black women ugly? Who the f*** would say that? And sometimes I don't even understand where most of the black men are. Why aren't you more pissed off about this? When y'all try to compare the struggles and experiences of other people of color to the struggles and experiences of black folk, y'all like to forget one critical detail. And that is that everybody hates black people. And I'm not saying this to be victim-y here, but the truth is almost every culture has some component of either anti-blackness or at least colorism, which is discrimination against dark-skinned people. So when people say, oh, I'm insert race or ethnicity here and I don't feel this way, black people are being dramatic. No, black people have a different experience from you, especially if they're darker skin, because everybody's got beef with us. Why isn't this something which is affecting you? You have black women in your family. Why isn't your first reaction to protect and to provide? We too often reduce violence to its physical forms, but it goes beyond that. The concept of symbolic violence is super useful, for example, when we talk about Colonization. Colonization is violence in the sense that it kills people, it displaces them. That's physical violence, we see it. But colonization is also violent in the sense that it makes the colonized uh, language, lifestyle and traditions inferior to those of the colonizer. You see this on the internet and it's affecting our children. It's affecting our community. And have you noticed, yeah, the standard for black women to be well kept is higher for any other type of woman? Oh my God. It's like to be deemed as a good looking black woman, yeah? You have to be 10 out of 10, seven days a week, 24 seven. And we don't, we are not given the grace, not that we need to be given it, but we don't have a relaxed, casual look where we're still rated 10 out of 10. This is blatant racism. But anyway, look at, look at the effects. Look at the effects of what happens when you start doing this. Right I'm so ugly. <gasps> Look at that. What? Don't say that. These are the effects. This is what happens. When you start shitting on our culture. And we're peaceful people. I'm a peaceful person, but I'm f***ing tired of this shit, bro. It might seem like we're sensitive or nitpicky, but that's because so many key parts of life are built on a foundation of anti-blackness and colorism, which means that, yeah, there's an issue in a lot of the things we do in a day. And when someone points that out, it's not because they love being the victim. I know I personally would much rather live a life where this doesn't impact me on a day-to-day -day basis, but it does. And if you are exhausted of hearing us all the time, imagine how we feel. So the NBA draft just passed and everyone's still wondering about why every single professional athlete seems to have a white girlfriend or a girlfriend who's like super, super light skin, almost white. So I worked a whole entire year in marketing and sports for professional athletes, but I also live in Miami. So I've met a lot of like professional athletes as well, just because it's Miami. And let me tell you something. When there's a black man, especially a black man who's come from a predominantly like black community, right? And he's about to go into the NFL, NBA draft, whatever the case may be. And they're waving millions of dollars in his face for endorsements, brand deals, sponsorships, whatever the case may be. The brands most of the time want proximity to whiteness. So that means whatever the brand wants, they're going to get. And especially when you have managers and agents who are like money driven and who know they're going to get that three to five percent cut off of that athlete, they're going to encourage the athlete to date a white woman. They're going to encourage that athlete to date women who are very, very light skinned and also have a very classy persona on social media because that's what brands are gonna pay the most money for. Because a lot of times when you have athletes, especially who come from like predominantly black communities and a lot of times low income communities, and this is kind of like their golden ticket out of the hood, if that makes sense they're going to do whatever it takes to get that money especially when there's millions of dollars on the line and they're not used to money so many black creators even on here they come and tell you that they don't make the same as their white counterparts and even me as a light-skinned black woman it's like i know that i have privilege but i also know there's 
my same white counterparts doing the exact same thing getting paid way more than i am so imagine a darker skin creator so think about it a lot of these athletes this is their golden ticket out this is their golden ticket to the life that they've been dreaming of for them and their family so if they have to be in a proximity to whiteness to get millions of dollars they're gonna do it and their agents their managers everyone on their team is gonna push them towards that like i'm it. so ugly <gasps> what don't say that don't say that you are so pretty when you look at yourself you supposed to say i'm so pretty you she's comparing herself to the whites hmm. and can you show me which is the skin color adults like the most this one okay can you also tell me which is the skin color that adults don't like the most this one okay and i have another question what skin color are you well, and in the middle. I have no animosity to white people or other races. I do not. But when I personally get attacked like this, what am I supposed to do? I think there are several reasons why black women in particular get so much hate on this app. And I think the main reason for this is that we have the audacity to be. And when I say that, I mean, we are supposed to be the least attractive you know we don't fit into con conventional norms of beauty and we're supposed to be on the lowest rung of the ladder of society and there are too many of us who are who live oblivious to all of those societal expectations we refuse to remain in everyone's boxes that they've created for a black woman and we refuse to fit into any of those titles that they have assigned to us somebody comes into my house and starts my family and i'm just supposed to sit and take it they specifically took a study and just focused on black people if I specifically took a study where I just focused on Jewish women and said something about their noses or the way that they looked, guess what would happen to me? Look at what happened to Kanye West. They whipped him in front of us. But those same entities would do the same thing to us. And guess what? Y'all just on TikTok. So many black girls trying to figure out why black men don't like black women. I think I got an answer for you. I'm Ruquan, senior at Harvard, studying black history. And I have, grew up around black love, grew up in Washington, D.C., which is Chocolate City. So I felt and seen black love at every level, you know, in the hood, in the schools, you know, in, in office, in the businesses on the street, whatever it is. And I come to Harvard and I experience something really different where there's this war between black men and black women that's like the black women hate the black men, the black men, some of them stay away from the black women to get a white girl or whatever. You are so pretty. Do you hear me? You got the prettiest little dimples. You are too cute. Oh. Look at that, bro. Oh. Ariana, oh, you make me cry. You're not ugly. <laughs> you are so pretty. If a white man went through the exact same thing that I went through as a child, moving to Europe, the racism which I've gone through, he would take a gun and go sh the whole school. That's what a white person would have done. Do you know how much patience you have to have as a black man? Patience you have to have as a black woman. Pretty. You are like you have this beautiful chocolate skin. No, you're not going to cry. You are a beautiful little girl. It doesn't matter what mom says. It doesn't matter if your mom says that you're beautiful because the world around is with you. Girl, you are the prettiest girl in your class. Boom. Black is beautiful. And if don't nobody ever tell you, I will tell you, you are gorgeous. And you're gonna grow up and you're gonna be everything that you can be. Why are some people described as elegant and others as vulgar? Why is this elegant and this 
vulgar. You'll agree with me that elegant has a positive connotation, whereas vulgar has a negative connotation. So when you call someone vulgar, it's not nice. Vulgar is often used to describe women who aren't wife material. It targets how they look, but also how they speak. Can you show me which one is the mean doll? Okay. And can you show me which one is the bad doll? Okay. Can you also show me which one is the ugly doll? Okay. Show me which one is the skin color adults like the most. Okay. And now can you show me which one is the skin color adults don't like the most? Okay. And now, which one is your skin color? Which one? Yeah, this is a mother telling her daughter, you're beautiful, you're gonna grow up to be whatever you wanna be. That's not the truth, my guy. But you have to fend for yourself. That's why I'm saying F people don't even, don't even dabble in this anymore. Just say F this, bro. You hold your head up. This shit pisses me off because I had a friend which took died this year. Took his own life. And he's just getting it and getting it and getting it and getting it. And sometimes you talk to people, you know, and they just, they're gone. I, I would understand if we're doing it for everybody, if we're all across the board, the Jewish community, the whites, the Asians, doesn't matter. We throw everybody under the bus and we do not just single out the black women. What is up guys? My name is Yambo Davidson and welcome to my YouTube channel. I've traveled the world and one of the most irritating things are flight delays. I just hate it when my flight gets delayed. That is why we're partnered up with today's video sponsor, AirHelp. AirHelp helps you claim up to 600 euros for every delayed flight. So sign up today and earn up to 600 euros for every delayed flight. The link is in the description. When I was flying from Namibia to Sweden, my flight was delayed. So I used AirHelp actually and they did wonders. So I actually earned 600 euros and I did not have to pay for that flight, which was amazing. Sign up today. They did a qualitative study where they actually asked black men, why do they believe that black women are the least desired group of women, the least likely to be married and the least likely to be remarried? And the very first answer, the black men said it's black women's attitudes, the masculine. I agree 100%. I do agree with this man. Their attitudes is very shitty, but I have to come with a counter argument. If you're getting shitted on all the time, you're getting shit on, like as a black woman, think of this, you're getting shitted on all the time. Of course, you're going to have an attitude. Of course, you're going to have a problem. And the crazy part is this, like they're going to say like this. And this is this is something which I've noticed even from the some of the black girls which I've dated, right? They're like, yeah, but you, you're probably going to leave me for a white woman. Why do some black men only date white women? I feel like that's just a thing of self-hatred, not going to lie. There's so many black men that have been so brainwashed by Western beauty standards, all this. Sh it's such cool mentality. I've heard some of your friends say um you know like oh just white girls are easy you know one thing i don't like is when i hear certain black men um not all but it's when they say oh well the reason i don't talk to black girls is because when i was younger they always said i was corny or lame and if you want to date a white girl by all means do you if you want to date a white man by all means do you but you become a c-o-o-n is when you're not dating them because you like them as a person but you're only dating them because they're white like honestly like they think like yeah, but you're going to leave me for like, and that's where the insecurity comes from. Black women, I, I would have to say like a lot of black women are very, very insecure when it comes to this interracial because they feel like we're leaving them for the white women. And we are, we are the only person like, if I'm being, keeping it a buck 50, 
the only person which is like dating black, Idris Elba and, and Jay-Z. Kanye doesn't do it. Kanye has the exact same problem. He doesn't do it. When was the last time you saw Kanye West with a black woman? I'm just caught, I'm just keeping it a buck fifty. When was the last time you saw Kanye West with a black woman? I can't remember the last time. I can't. Why? Is it because he likes white women? Maybe. Or maybe he just feels like he wants to fit in. Maybe he feels like if I have a white woman, I'll be accepted. Maybe. Black men, um, they want to assimilate, kind of. So they might see, they might feel like, you know, if I date a white girl, you know, I, I'm, I'm up there. I'm, you know, superior now, or I'm, you know, I'm better than you all who are still dating black women. Because when you marry a white woman, you're marrying into her community. You don't just marry a woman. You marry the family and you marry the community. So how can you beat the African people marrying into the group that has historically and systemically oppressed your people? That doesn't make any sense. You cannot marry a white woman and not be loyal to the white agenda against African people. It's no way around it. And who you marry is a political decision. Who you make children with is a political decision. If you are marrying white, sleeping white, cohabitating white, procreating white, then your loyalty is to white people. If you are a white woman and you are dating in love with, married to a black man, I want you to listen up. Um, there are certain things that you need to know. And I don't think this is spoke about enough. But um, the most dangerous thing in this world are the tears of a white woman. And if you truly love the black man that you are with, you need to know that you need to have his back and protect him at all costs including protecting him from yourself. My son was dating a white woman. My son is biracial. Um, they got into an argument in public and she started to scream and cry. And my son immediately left the scene. She was outraged. She couldn't believe my son left. My son left because my son knew that if he stayed there and this woman was crying and screaming at him, a black man, there was not going to be any questions asked. He was going to be thrown to the ground. He was going to go to jail. It was not going to be any questions asked because this white woman was crying and screaming about him. I'm just saying that bro, it has to stop guys. It really does. All this black hate, Africa doing all this, it has to stop. How long are we going to be doing this? How long? Three years, four years, five years, six? Okay, slavery was enough. We got enough. But when are we going to decide like it bro? Like Muhammad Ali, Michael Jordan, everybody, we've, I've had this conversation with my brother, I've said this so many times, if we were just to, everybody pack their bags, go to Africa, doesn't matter if it's Kanye, doesn't, doesn't, I don't give a damn who it is, pack your bags, go to Africa, start your own bank, start whatever, start your own leagues, no one, we're talking about Kylian Mbappe, we're talking about France, we're talking about all of these, like, Every single, every single, like the Belgians, those black Belgian players, go back to Africa, go home, start something. But do you know how it would flourish? In other words, we are deemed uncontrollable and that irks a lot of people the wrong way. And so these attacks on social media um, are really attempts, I believe, from people who are trying to psychologically um, 
persuade us to step back into the box because they don't have the capacity. They don't have the ability to physically put us back in there. There's, there's really nothing they can do about black women moving up and stepping forward and being successful and achieving. There, there's really nothing that they can do to stop that except for trying to break us down psychologically. But the whites are in Africa there, also colonizing us. Still, 70% of my country isn't mine. 70% guys. The emasculation, the, the, the being stubborn, being difficult, being combative. No desire to be in. They're trying to survive. Black women are just trying to survive. That's it. Doesn't matter. They're just trying to survive. We're talking about Nicki Minaj. She bleaches her skin. Why? Just to look a little bit lighter. Why? To fit in. That's why. Big up, big up yourself, large up yourself. Okay, guys, let's get straight into the topic. Dark skinned girls are ugly. I see that on the internet. I noticed a lot of black guys. Look I was watching part. a video where they were saying black guys were saying darkies and dark skinned girls are unattractive. A lot of stuff against dark skinned girls. And I could understand how it um would that could affect your self esteem as a dark skinned girl. I'm a dark skinned girl. I think I'm beautiful, and I think dark skinned girls are beautiful just like any other women. You know, and we also have an advantage. But it's the fact that you still have to sit down and make a video about it. I think that we're beautiful. We all know that black women are beautiful. It's, it's not, we're not sitting here and having a conversation over like, or are black women? No, it's the fact that we're constantly getting attacked. If it's not black women, it's black men. Nothing scares me more than the way black women think. The way that we process things, the way that we handle things, the way that we interpret things really scares me because it just shows me how much work we have to do. I realize what's happening is these two groups of people are not actually talking to each other. These two groups of people are listening to stories uh, from their parents and they're also experiencing things from each other, but they're not actually sitting down and having a conversation about their desires about their fears. And since they're not doing that, it's gonna be extremely difficult to arrive at a place where love can exist like this. Because a part of love requires intimacy and vulnerability. Vulnerability is about taking off the clothes, being free, being open, letting, letting it be known and letting it be shown, sharing how you truly feel. Intimacy is about both parties doing that and then coming close together. If there is no vulnerability and intimacy, it's difficult for love to be experienced. It's not just that black women want a husband. It's not just that black men want a wife. Black men want to be loved and black women want to be loved. Just like white women want to be loved and white men want to be loved. But here's the thing. You only are going to be loved if you're both vulnerable and intimate because that's the way that someone has an opportunity to truly patch you up where you're broken. Nilia and Alina, I have one more question for you girls. Nilia, I'm gonna start with you. Which one of these two dolls is your favorite? This one. How about you, Alina? Which one do you like most? This one. Okay, Nilia, why is that? Why is that your favorite doll? It's because it has pretty eyes. Oh, okay, so she sees that it has pretty eyes. And how about you, Alina? Which one do you like most and why? It's because it's white and it has pretty eyes too. Okay, so you like her because of the same reason. She's white and she has pretty eyes. So I have one more question. What is wrong with her skin color? It's dirty. It's a little dirty. But that's where I'm going to end the video, guys. Thanks for watching. The viewer question for today's video is, if you had to marry either Taylor Swift or Beyonce, who would you marry and why? Leave it in the comment section. Do you think race is a factor when it comes to dating?